these are some of the uh, other updates uh, for according to this vaccination schedule i have previously i just discussed the charts and the schedule now these are the you know key important recommendations uh, which are mentioned in these you know, slides for example polio immunization a booster of injectable polio vaccine is recommended at 4 to 6 years of age importance of ipv in immunization schedule is de emphasized so there is more emphasis on injectable polio vaccine inactivated in, uh, influenza vaccines so uh, dose is mentioned and recommended for all children older than 6 months of age so this is inactivated varicella vaccine second dose of varicella vaccine should be preferably given administered at 3 to 6 months and these are the highlights from the previous schedule we discussed. New vaccination and IPV, you know, combinations of vaccine, as I said. So there are now, because, you know, it is difficult to administer too many vaccines in one go. So there are combination vaccines. So, for example, uh, DTP and IPV combined, which is called, you know, also one of the brands is called EZ4, EZ5, EV, EZ6. So different brand names have come which contain multiple uh, vaccine contained in load in one injection so for giving ease of you know so for example one of the name is uh, tetraxime uh, and other uh, vaccines like quadrivalent conjugate meningococcal vaccine is uh, menvio and there's a monoclonal antibody cocktail for post exposure prophylaxis is uh, twin wrap Conjugate uh, CRM197 typhoid vaccine is Typhi BBB. So these are also some of the names are new to me because I do not use them. Uh, uh, 10 valent pneumococcal conjugate, which is against 10 strains of pneumococcal uh, you know, uh, conjugate vaccine, and it is known as Nemocil. It is produced by Serum Institute of India. I was looking at it. It was released by the Health Minister of India. It is indigenous. Uh, produce, produce, manufactured in India. There are some Indian vaccine manufacturing companies and there are international companies like GSK, Pfizer and all. So, you know, which company makes them and these are all mentioned in the new guidelines. It is, uh, you know, around 10, 15 pages document and you should download it and keep it as a ready reference for your own uh, knowledge. So, these are again some of the, you know, same, you know, uh, information uh, in expanded form. Uh, Typhi back vaccine, Manvio vaccine. These are all uh, mentioned in the new guidelines. Uh, Tetrazine vaccine, uh, Pneumocil. So, as you can see in this recommendation, Pneumocil, which is uh, 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 which is active against ten strains, is recommended uh, between twelve to eighteen months. And they say that there is any absence of you know uh, uh, any uh, studies between two to five years so they have not recommended it to be given beyond two years of age so these are the you know uh, you know uh, intrinsic uh, you know detailed uh, information and this you will find from uh, the iap this paper indian pediatric paper and these are some of the special high risk vaccines among children uh, meningococcal vaccine, Japanese encephalitis, oral cola, cholera vaccine, rabies vaccine, yellow fever vaccine, uh, pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine. High risk conditions are what like congenital and quad immunodeficiency, HIV, immunosuppressive therapy, and radiation. Chronic cardiac conditions, chronic pulmonary conditions, chronic systemic uh, diseases like uh, renal hematological hepatic diseases. Functional anatomical asplenia, hyposplenia, and specific high risk groups are like children having pets in home, rabies vaccine, Japanese encephalitis, endemic areas uh, like parts of UP, Bihar, during outbreak like oral cholera vaccine, when there is an outbreak in community in any you know, city, town, village area, then this may be used for prevention. For travelers, rabies vaccine, meningococcal vaccine, yellow fever vaccine, as it may be mandated under the international travel laws or regulations. 
so these are the special conditions where we give special vaccines other than apart from the routine vaccination program 